Hello and welcome to F4 Discover Free Video Introduction. In this video, we are going to show you the difference between STM32 Discovery, the one that you see here on the left, with F4 Discover Free, the one that you see here on the right. We got a lot of questions from customer asking support for STM32 Discovery which actually is not our product. F4 Discover Free board design is mainly inspired by STM32 Discovery. As you can see here, it's slightly bigger, but it has the same width. So what are the differences between these two? Well, as you can see here, we use a bigger chip with the LQFP 176 as the consequence you have more header pins that you can connect with your extension board. We embed an FTDI based JTAG debugger that so that you can use this board to develop an application under Windows, Mac and Linux. Instead, on STM32 Discovery, you have only an ST link there with the full support from ST Microelectronics on Windows platform. So let's say you want to develop an application using STM32 Discovery for multiple platforms. You might need to have a JTAG debugger if you want to see the printf output, you might need to have a USB to serial converter. And if you want to have a storage to keep files, pictures, or music, you might need to connect a micro SD slot and it's, uh, in its uh, breakout board. And now, not to mention that you need all of these wirings to connect them all. Now with F4 Discover Free, you have everything all in one package. So everything is connected together, so you don't need this wiring. I will remove this from here. The FTDI based JTAG debugger works for multiple platforms, so you don't need an extra JTAG debugger. If you want to see the printout of the printf function, you already have FTDI chip with two ports. So one of them is a USB to serial converter. So you don't need this one. And if you want to keep files, music, and everything inside the storage, you already have it here built in on the board. So all you need to do is just to insert a micro SD card. Now, with STM32 Discovery, you can develop an application and you can also develop an extension port. But if you want to sell and make a commercial product out of it, you may not include the STM32 Discovery within your products. You may need to read this evaluation license agreement on ST Microelectronic websites. Instead, with our F4 Discover Free, the schematic designs is licensed under CC by SA 3.0, meaning that you can use it for, for free. The software we provided on our website is also for free. If you want to work with the Kale or IAR, we also support the plugin for free. So everything with F4 Discover Free as the name implied, everything, including the software, is for free. So now, to avoid further confusions between STM32 Discovery, we released our new product of, S, uh, of uh, F4 Discover Free in blue color. So as you can see here, even though the board dimension is the same, but you can differentiate from the color, obviously. Now, this, this new product 
is not only about changing the color. Actually, we have uh, new features built in into our new F4 Discover Free. So if we put aside the old release and the new one, you can see here that now we have an indicator when you plug in the USB cable. So right away when you plug in the USB cable, you can see the LED turns on. In addition to that, on the JTAC debugger, we have an extra ground pin here so that actually you can remove all of this jumper out of the board and you can use this board to debug other development kit. So on the back, we also added a footprint here for an EEPROM in case you want to add your own VID and PID on F4 Discover Free. So that's the video introduction for today to explain about our new release of F4 Discover Free and the difference to STM32 Discovery. So what are you waiting for? Go visit our website and get one and have fun with F4 Discover Free. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.